Okay, as most of you have uh, probably heard, um, Nightcore was going to release something magical on July 9th. Uh, now that the cat's out of the bag, we've discovered it's a, a new line of EDC lights that features a uh, potentially revolutionary technology that may be a game changer. So, this uh, new series comes in three flavors. There's the, uh, they've dubbed the Nightcore Sense SENS series, and this is the Mini. It accepts CR2 size batteries. This is the AA, self-explanatory. And then likewise, there's a CR um, that accepts CR123As that I have a part to demonstrate the technology uh, before we get into that though. So um, this technology, uh, ostensibly when you first look at this light, you figure, okay, you know, this is a perhaps standard twisty. Let me go ahead and twist this on and get some output there, on off again to probably change modes, but doesn't seem like that's happening, right? And reason why is because there's a unique implementation of the uh, light output level control uh, that Nikkor has dubbed ADT, Active Dimming Technology. Right? This technology is based on the accelerometer that um, I actually first heard about being used in um, IBM ThinkPad laptops quite a few years back. Um, what would happen is it would actually be able to detect whether or not you were holding it and if you drop the laptop it would disengage the diskettes such that to prevent or minimize damage um, to your disk drive. Now if you knew how much it costs to recover data off of a hard drive I thought that that was simply a brilliant move. Now fast forward a few years you've seen this technology nearly ubiquitous um, in just about every smartphone. It's the one that allows you it to detect the orientation of the phone and thus change from landscape to portrait or as you're playing games to control the game. Um, it's also featured in the Wii controllers for those of you familiar with that. Now to better demonstrate this I actually downloaded this app called Excel Meter on the iPad. Okay, So this is the technology in, in use right now. Right, It could detect the orientation of your device and adjust either output or controls or whatnot accordingly. Likewise, with the Nightcore lights, um, when you first turn it on with the head pointing straight up, and let's just pretend that this is the light, it detects its orientation and it says, oh, okay, you want to engage ADT, so fine, I'll turn that on. Then, as you turn the light anywhere below horizontal, it'll start dimming the output. Okay, but as you can see, it is constantly detecting its orientation to be able to control that output. All right? Now we're going to actually put the light into actual use. Um, this is why I have this light apart to demonstrate that. Now, the output control is actually just one half of the story. Right? The main feature uh, benefits, I should say, of constantly adjustable output um, is a, a pretty decent amount uh, of savings in uh, battery consumption. Right? So even though you may not see it or may not fully realize it, no matter what, every minute adjustment actually gains you um, exact, sorry, again, savings and uh, battery through reduced consumption. All right. So this is a little bit tricky to do because I'm actually off towards the side of the camera and this thing kind of needs um, a good angle here. So I'm just going to make sure I'm looking at the camera correctly. Uh, give me a second. Let me just adjust the screen here. Okay. So. To demonstrate what it what it is like in action, right? Um, I want you to look at the fluke meter. I have this hooked up to uh, track the the uh, current draw, and then I have the light meter to track the output level. All right? I go ahead and close the circuit with the light pointed up to you let it know that hey, look, I'm engaging ADT. All right? So with the light straight up, it will come out in full output. Okay, and again, up until perfectly horizontal, it will maintain that full output, but as you start changing the angle lower, it will start to reduce the output and correspondingly reduce the current draw. Now, as you can see over there on the, the fluke meter, that current draw is just going way down, especially once I get uh, perfectly pointed to straight down. All right, the light meter is not measuring lumens, so don't don't take it as lumens. It's just measuring looks directly off of the light right now. All right? And again, 
as you point it straight horizontal, it realizes, hey, you're probably looking at something off in the distance. Let me ramp up the output ASAP. And it'll do that for a short period of time because it figures, okay, once your eyes adjust, you don't really need that much output again. And it'll start reducing the output accordingly again, as you can see on the light meter. Now, your eyes may not realize this, but again, the light does, as well as a corresponding uh, reduction in current draw. Now, this is a regulated light, so that's why you do see the current jumping up because it is increasing the current draw minute in minute amounts to maintain regulation. But again, these constant adjustments between the angles will adjust the current draw correspondingly. Okay? Now that probably isn't very clear to you on the meter, so I actually do have this being logged right now on my computer to give you a better idea of this in action. Go ahead and zoom in on my screen. Hopefully this will come out for you. Let me go ahead and start the logging here. Okay, so again, the left side will read the output from the light meter. The right side here, the graph, um, will be covering the current draw, right? So now, I get the light up here. Oops, sorry, don't have a good grip here. All right, here we go. So again, this simulates that, hey, look, I, am, I have the light pointed straight up. Okay, and I want ADT engaged. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and ramp it to full output. I'm going to twist it over to about horizontal. It's not going to change the output. Then I'm going to continue below that. And as you will see, there is both a corresponding drop in output as well as the current draw until it levels off. All right, I'm going to get it a few seconds to bottom out. Then, let's just say you're walking on the trail, see something and hear something ahead of you, point the light straight up horizontal, bam, instantly full output again. Okay? And as mentioned, um, oh, sorry, I just lost the connection. But you get the idea through this graph here. All right, that was when it was first turned on, steady state as you reduce the angle reduces output and then you flip the light horizontal again it'll come back up again All right now let's just say okay fine I don't want the ADT to work I want to be able to control the output level myself in that case Nightcore has um, actually implemented a method for you to override it in a way such that if you point the light horizontally it will just engage in full output and stay there fixed Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and angle the light downwards. And as you can see, it maintains full output regardless of the angle of the light. All right. Okay, what if I don't want full output? Then all, you, all one needs to do is adjust the angle down slightly below horizontal and then engage the light there and it would come on in the corresponding output level for that angle. And we get this out of the way so you can see the output level. Okay, you see that bar? Steady state. Doesn't matter which way, how I point the light up, down, right? It maintains that steady output. Okay, I don't want medium, I want low. Well then, in that case, point the light straight down, activate it, and I'll come on in low and stay there at fixed. And once again, doesn't matter which way you adjust the light, point it straight up, straight ahead, straight down, don't matter, it maintains that constant output. I just lost the connection, that's why you saw that drop. But again, hopefully this gives you a good idea of the active dimming technology. Again, right, light output, just half of the story. 
and this is where the main um, story is, I feel, is the constant adjustment in current reduction when you don't need it, so it helps prolong the life of your batteries. All right, so I'm gonna take a few days to fill out the rest of my review. There's actually quite a few great reviews out there uh, written by other folks like Self Bill, Big Mac 79. Um, so please hit up those uh, our our sages. You know his layman reviews, excellent, straight to the point and nice and short. So please read up those. Um, and again, as mentioned, take a few days to flesh it out. And thanks again for watching. As part of FCC disclosures, these three lights were provided by Nightcore for review.